Hello, here's the Breville Brewster Express BS860. Uh, I'm sure you've seen all the photos, it's pretty good condition, in and out. Um, I will do a double shot latte now to uh, kind of show you around how to use the machine, show you that the machine is all good, no, no um, issues with it whatsoever. This is what it comes with, so uh, obviously the tamper and the handle. In the handle is a double shot basket. This is the single shot basket. Um, you also get the user manual, quick start guide, cleaning guide, um, milk jug, quite large one actually, um, spare water filter, there's one installed already at the back in the water tank, there's a spare one here, uh, and some cleaning tools, that's what it comes with. Um, so the machine is turned on, yeah, it usually takes about a minute to you know, get to temperature. Maybe I'll just add some water. So you can either take the tank out and fill it that way, from the tap, from the tap or just like that. Whichever you want. Um, yeah, so I've added beans, water, and it's, uh, it's warmed up now. Let's uh, tell you how I do my coffee. So. In the morning or whenever I use it, before I start grinding the coffee, I just do a blank shot. So that's a coffee shot. Sorry, that's a shot of just hot water without any coffee in the handle. So that will warm up the machine and it will warm up the handle, the cup. So that's pretty good. It will also clean any dirt that's in there. That's good. That'll bring your machine to temperature. Um, I'll put this aside. I'll grab a tissue. So here's the double shot basket that I told you about. Dry it thoroughly and then put it here. And then you press it. You can um, grind single or double. Uh, I like to do the single twice, even for the for the double shot, because uh, at halfway I can press the coffee down. Um, let's. I've got my scale here just to sort of be consistent in uh, in setting the settings. So it's at number ten here in the um, grinder dial, the grind size dial, and in the dose it's at twelve o'clock. So that's that. First dose, I'm gonna take it out, tamp it, see what that's like. That's about eight grams, maybe I'll increase it a bit. Maybe here. I need nine grams here uh, for single shot or 18 grams for a double shot. Let's see what that's like. It's about 17 grams. That's all right. You can add a bit more. Like that. Clean the edges. Try again. Yep, that's 18 grams. Perfect. I'm going to clean the edges like that. Take out the tamper, and press down. You don't really need a scale to get um, a good uh, level of coffee. You know, you can just use your eye. You should be about half a centimeter from the from the from the edge. Can you see that? Or you can, you can just think of it halfway through this silver part. So like that. That's good. That's the way it looks like. That's nice. Nice and even. Make sure it's flat. Anyway. Um, that's 18 grams of ground coffee. Turn it all the way to the right. 
Uh, you can also program these buttons to do whatever volume of coffee you want. Um, I'm going to program it to do a double shot, which is, um, what's that, about 35 to 40 grams. So I'm going to put my cup here, calibrate it, and then I'll press program, and then I'll press the double shot button, because that's the one I want to program. And then I'll press it again when I'm happy with the amount of coffee that it gave me. Um, keep an eye on the pressure gauge, by the way. Here's the pressure gauge. Um, make sure you get around maybe 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, you know, 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock in the upper range. That's when you're going to get the best taste and the best crema and the best um, flavors. Okay, let's program it and show you how I do it. Very good. So, so that's one o'clock. It should come out nice and slow like that, consistent. If it's coming out in drops, then that's too slow. If it's coming out way too fast, then that's too fast. It should come out consistently like that. Um, I think that's about 40 grams. I'll stop it there. That's a beautiful shot. That's 38 grams, I'm very happy with that. Um, I wish I could show you, but I'm gonna have to move my phone. I'll show you after. I'm gonna put that here. This is the cup warmer, it's very hot, it's metal. So it'll warm up your cups pretty effectively. Uh, let's do the milk now. So I've got my milk jug right here. Uh, Follow the rules like I do. Um, it's the same rules, pretty much for a double shot. Um, the general rule is just under the spout. So here's the spout on my jug. On your jug, because it's a bit bigger, um, maybe up to here. But yeah, use full cream milk for best, you know, frothing and taste. And um, cold milk is best. So I'm going to turn the steamer on. It takes about 15-20 seconds to warm up and start steaming. Uh, you can use it with this uh, piece. I like to take it out. This piece, uh, supposedly it helps you froth the milk. Uh, but for me, I think it's annoying, so I don't really use it. It's just another thing to clean, but yeah, here's the, here's the steam. Give it a few seconds. Yep. Turn it off quickly and get your milk. Put it at the tip and create a vortex. Listen to the sound. You want to hear the hissing sound? Like that. That hissing sound means that you're injecting air. And you want to do that for about 20 30 seconds, maybe. Once the 30 seconds uh, are over, lift the jug and now I'm, I stopped, um, I've stopped injecting it and now I'm just warming up the milk. Uh, and then I'm going to stop the steamer when the milk is too hot to touch for more than, you know, half a second or something. Yep, just right there. So now the machine will cool down and it'll go back to coffee mode, you'll see the buttons light up. Beautiful, beautiful milk. I'm gonna quickly get a wet towel. Uh, make sure you always do this. So purge it out to take out the milk. Cool, and then with the wet towel, wipe it quickly. 
Um, otherwise, the milk will stick there and it will clog the machine. It will be very difficult to remove later on. Cool. I'm happy with that. So that's, uh, that's the Breville Barista Express. I'm going to show you the latte that I've made. Here's my cup. Here's my cup. Tap it, tap it. That way you'll break the bubbles. Swirl it around. And then... Beautiful. You can actually do latte out with this machine. Um, I've... Uh, I haven't practiced much, but um, the taste is always amazing. So you get professional quality coffees like that with not much difficulty. Um, hopefully you'll be able to do that as well. So here's the Breville Boosty Express. Hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully it's shown use proven useful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me uh, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.